Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. This is Donna from Tarot Tarot to do a quick read for you. Um, we're going to try and make this a, a really fast one because I know that everybody's busy and I'm busy and we're just going to do this real quick. All right, so what deck are we using? We are using the Gothic Tarot deck, okay? And then what spread are we doing for y'all? trying to arrange it differently so we can do them quickly you'll get a read and then if there's time left over then we can do the um oracle cards i was trying to let the dice decide everything as it went and it was starting to get on my nerves i could still do that but you know right now just i want to get a quick quick read up for y'all all right so aries sun moon rising and venus by the way thank you for everyone who's hit like share and subscribed and donated to the channel i appreciate all of you you are awesome it's, it's growing and oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. All right. So which one are we doing? We are doing heart, heartbeat spread, heartbeat spread. That's what it says. Okay. Um, so what is this? Um, okay. So it's a, a five card spread. All right. Which, okay, so what card tried to hide, hide back and not come out of the... Okay, so the Five of Swords tried to hide. All right, it didn't want to be a part of the reading. It doesn't have to be. <clears throat> All right. I need to toss those. All right, so let me see here. Five card spread is called a Heartbeat Spread. And this is... um. It's a deck. This is a deck of cards that I created. It's a deck of spreads. I went through uh, Pinterest and found spreads that I like, and then I thought people would like, you know, find interesting, and um, made my own deck of spreads. All right, so let's see what we got going on here. So five cards, and I'm going to do it just like it has it here. So, um, all right. <laughs> The Gothic deck is a little bit harder for me to read than the regular Rider Waite one, but we'll see what happens here. All right, so it says, core energy of this relationship. Oh, Jesus. Um, the core energy of whatever relation, relationship you are here to see um, or, or read about. Um, Ten of Swords. That's like an ending. Look at this. That's like being done done. The core energy of this relationship is you being done done. Why? Look at the all the bright light. How can I do this without glare? Is there a way to do it without glare? Probably not. But can you see this, dude? He is done, done. Look at that. He is just done. All right, so that's the core energy of the relationship. Uh, what this person brings out in me, and that is position number two, is that one. Okay. Um, ten of Wands. Burden. Oh, my God. This person is a burden to you Aries Jesus I don't know who this is that we're reading about but what I bring out in them was it this one yeah um temperance patience you bring out patience in them really um what brings me closer to them I think that's the one on the okay um what brings you closer is the four <laughs> what what brings you it says what brings me closer to them so what brings you closer to them is the four of swords and that's the um taking time out, taking time for yourself, resting, rejuvenating. So that brings you closer to him. Okay, so taking time for yourself, doing what's best for you, self-care, um, brings you closer to them. Uh, what brings them closer to you is the Five of Pentacles. Um, oh, you've got somebody that feels poor and they probably feel like you have, even if you don't think you're wealthy, they want to, um, how do I put this? They want to benefit from whatever you have because what brings them closer to me is the fact that they feel poor. Five of Pentacles, and they feel left out. They feel like they're you know, not loved or whatever. So I guess you somehow make them feel loved or taken care of or something, I don't know. Um, where are we at? We're at four minutes and 53 seconds. <laughs> um, so let's do, we'll do an Oracle card. Um, wow. 
Okay, so this person, core energy of the relationship is just being done, done. Um, so this, I guess you're dealing with, um, scratch cards. Um, I guess you're dealing with a heartbreaking relationship. I don't know. I mean, I don't know if this resonates with anybody or not. Whoever's watching this. Um, if you have been in a very difficult relationship, that's the core energy of it is of just betrayal, being stabbed in the back, um, just being done. And this person is feeling poor and they feel like they can benefit from you and you make them feel good. You make them feel like they're not left out in the cold. Like, I don't know. Maybe they're a nightmare and everybody else avoids them. I don't know. Um, wow, that's crazy. So they bring out, they basically make you feel burdened. Um, Patience. What I bring out in them is patience. You make them more patient. Interesting. All right. So um, the scratch cards, these are basically just, I don't know, feel good cards. Whatever you have been holding off on doing from fear of action, do it now. Well, could that be breaking up with this person? <laughs> I don't Whatever you've been holding off on doing from fear of action, do it now. So that's your Oracle card. And then um, what are we at? Okay. So... This person on your mind, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Oh, ten of, ten of Cups. All right, so what I'm going to shuffle, and we're going to find out. Um, we're going to see how they feel about you. How does this person feel about you, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? Wow, okay, no, not all these cards. Hold on. I am not doing all these. Let's do this again. I'm a shitty shuffler. <laughs> I can't shuffle for shit. <laughs> I've gotten so much static from my friends for um, not showing my face on camera right now. They, they're they like, they, why aren't you showing yourself? Because I want you to see the cards. There's got to be a way that you can both see me and the cards. And um, what is her name? Um, oh, I forget the one reader that I watch. Um, she has a really cool setup, and I want to do that. Because you can see her face and you can see the cards too. I like that. Um, but I want you to see the cards. All right, so how do they feel about you, Aries? Come on now. One freaking card. Um, they feel that you're very... Oh, my God. They want to they actually feel stability with you. Um, I just realized my dryer went off. So I guess you all can hear my dryer running, and I didn't even realize. I, I tuned it out. didn't even realize it was running. So my apologies if that was annoying. Um, so they feel that you are stability and that they will have stability with you and they feel very stable with you. Um, what do they think of you overall as a person? What do they think of you overall as a person? Um, somebody who, who has it all and, and it, you know, lives the lap. It's almost like living in the lap of luxury. If you look at this card, you know, not a care in the world, love and life. Everything is, you know, great they have all these pentacles around nine of pentacles um what are their intentions with you what are their intentions with you um they want to have a, a honest communication they want to have clear honest communication i wonder what's going on maybe they they've sensed that you're ready to just drop them like a bad habit <clears throat> and now they're like starting to get their shit together maybe maybe they're willing to um what are their actual actions with you though what are their actual actions with you um, they're, <laughs> they're either going to try to manipulate you or they're going to try to manifest, um, something with you. They want, what else are they going to do with you? Um, be defensive. <laughs> uh, what else are they going to do with you? Oh, they're going to offer you love. <coughs> they're like, look, I have a cup. It's a fish in it. You like fish? <laughs> <laughs> no, but up. seriously, <laughs> they're going to offer you love. So, um, if it's this person that we just did the first read for, Ooh, I don't know about all that. Cause they're a burden. Um, and they're with you because they want to benefit. So let's do six, um, cards, Donna's destiny cards, six cards, Donna's destiny. Oh, damn it. What is with my shuffling today. Oh, I can't even pick it up. Can't even pick it up. Alright, 
let's try that again. Let's see. Six cards. Um, blind cards are like wild cards. It means anything is possible. It's it's considered good. All right. So six cards from Donna's Destiny cards. Here we go. We have. You are protected. Okay, that's good to know. You're protected. Watch your driving. <laughs> blank card. Um, argument. Oh, yep. Probably that person. Um, another blank card. And they think you're a bitch. <laughs> wow. Okay, so on that note, Aries, <laughs> who are we reading for next? Um, Taurus. All right, so... Uh, can we get advice? What's it? What's advice on what to do with this person that we just read for? What is it, the advice to do with this person? I just want to see advice. What? That's not good advice. What? Come on now. Does it feel like a, be a prisoner. Feel like a prisoner. Hang in there. Um, be patient. Surrender to the universe. Give it up to a higher power. Try and see things from a different perspective. Um, be loving, but not overly, um, demonstrative of it. Okay, the lover's card. Dang it. It might possibly, possibly be a soulmate. Because you got the lover's card. Um, oh, and then, let's see here. Um, I forgot to do the, um, who is what. Because the ten of wands is, um, you got, here, let's look at these. Um, you got Sagittarian energy, um, Temperance card is more Sag energy, um, so you might be dealing with a Sag. Knight of Pentacles, um, you have, um, that would be Virgo. Um, the Nine of Pentacles is Virgo, okay. Um, the King of Swords, um, that is Aquarian energy. I think, did I say Ten of Swords? Ten of Swords is, um, Gemini. So is um, the, what do you call it, the a magician. That's Gemini. Um, the seven, I think that's Leo. The seven of wands, um, that would be Leo. Page of cups, it might be dealing with um, another earth sign. Oh no, page of cups, that's water signs. Um, so page of cups would be um, Cancer, um, Scorpio, or yeah, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Um, the Lover's card, I believe, is a Gemini card. Um, I always forget that one. Yeah, Gemini card. King of Cups, um, that would be Scorpio. The Hangman, I believe, is Pisces. Mm, Neptune and Pisces. Okay, and then, um, and then the Eight of Swords, uh, we have more Gemini energy. So, and then, okay, and then Nine. Yep, Gemini. Oh, that was eight. My bad. Um, yeah, still Gemini. And then um, the five of pentacles um, would be Taurus. So the majority, you've got, what is it? Um, Sag, Gemini, Virgo. I think that was the majority of it, right? Yeah, a little Pisces thrown in there. A lot of Gemini. All right, so I don't know. You might be um, dealing with a Gemini, Aries, <clears throat> or Virgo. Um... And that's it. So we're reading for Taurus next and um, here. Um, so what if they think you're a bitch? All right, you're protected. Watch your driving. There's going to be an argument, probably because they're going to call you a bitch. <laughs> and then you're going to put a hurting on them. All right, um, love you guys. Thank you again. And um, I will see you, whoever's going to go in the Taurus reading. All right, take care.